Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this triangle ABC such that this angle A and this angle B are congruent angles and moreover, this side length AC is 25 units. And now we are going to find the area of this triangle ABC. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. We know that this angle A and this angle B, both of them are 22.5 degrees. So that means this triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle. In other words, this side length is going to be equal to this side length. And we know this side length is 25, so therefore this side length is going to be 25 as well. So therefore this side length BC is going to be 25 units. And now we are going to think outside the box in order to find the area of this triangle. So we are going to create some auxiliary lines. So therefore, we are going to extend this side length AC all the way to some point D such that this angle CDB is 90 degrees. And now let's recall this exterior angle theorem. And here's our exterior angle theorem. The exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite interior angles as you can see over here and here you can see that this angle x is our exterior angle and that is equal to the sum of these two opposite uh, interior angles alpha and uh, beta so therefore in our case this angle is going to be our exterior angle and that is going to be equal to the sum of these uh, two opposite uh, interior angles. So therefore this angle BCD is going to be 45 degrees if we add these two opposite interior angles. And now let's focus on this right triangle BCD. We know this angle is 45 degrees. This angle is 90 degrees and we know that the sum of the angles of any triangle is 180 degrees. So therefore this angle has got to be 45 degrees as well. So therefore this angle CBD is going to be 45 degrees as well. Now we can see that these two angles are congruent. So therefore this uh, triangle BDC is going to be an isosceles triangle. So therefore we conclude that these two side lengths are equal in length. So let me call this side length CD is A units, then this side length BD is going to be A units as well. Let's focus on this triangle BDC once again and let's recall the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. And now let's go ahead and apply this Pythagorean theorem on this triangle. In our case, uh, this longest leg is 25, so I'm going to call this side C. So therefore, we are going to have, in our case, A is A square, B is A as well, A square, and C in our case is 25 square. So therefore, A square is going to be a 625 divided by 2. Let me go ahead and undo this square by taking a square root on both sides. So this uh, square and square root is gone. So our A turns out to be positive or negative. Square root of 625 is simply 25 divided by square root of 2. And now we know that this A represents the side length, so this cannot be negative. And now we know that this radical cannot be at the denominator, so let's go ahead and rationalize this denominator now. So therefore, our these side lengths, this one and this one turns out to be 25 times square root of 2 divided by 2. And we know that this uh, 
side length BD which is this side is going to be our height and this side length AC this one is going to be our base and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this triangle ABC now and here's the area of a triangle formula area of a triangle equals to a half time base time height and in our case our base is 25 and our height is 25 times square root of 2 divided by 2 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so area is going to be a half time base in our case is 25 and our height is 25 times square root of 2 divided by 2 and here's our area of this triangle or this could be written as approximately equal to 221 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye